today I thought I would go ahead and film a top shelf lipstick collection video and kind of a declutter because as you can see there's an overload <laughs> going on right here that I need to handle. I'm actually going to go ahead and lift this on the floor. I already pulled the two drawers out that have some uh, other lipstick products in there because it's too heavy for me. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and dive right into this here. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury in Norman Parkinson, which is limited edition. I keep it up here because it's really pretty to look at. It is a really pretty uh, lip and cheek color too, but I rarely ever use it. Um, that's what the color looks like. We're going to keep that guy. I'll rearrange all of this and show it to you as a finished product as well. This is a backup of Max Babetown lipstick from the Christmas collection. Uh, I need to put that in my backup drawer. Um, Givenchy sent this lipstick over. It's kind of a duo chrome one in the shade Rose uh, Ray Villature, number 27. Oh. Um, I don't think I'll ever wear that. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that guy. This is the Dose of Colors lipstick from the Mickey Mouse collection in 129B. You have to be careful how you open that because the bullet doesn't go all the way down. I like the color. It's a thicker consistency, but it's a little bit more on the drying side. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. It's pretty new. This is the Christian Louboutin lipstick that I got when I was in New York City. This is the shade, you know, it's not on here. Very similar to the NARS, um, kind of like the NARS Orgasm Lip Balm, which is actually right here. I'll go ahead and swatch it right next to that one. Very similar shiny colors. I'm going to go ahead and keep both of those, the NARS and the Christian Louis Vuitton. These are two ColourPop lipsticks from the Disney collection. I really liked that collection. I love the eyeshadow palette. The colors both turned out darker than I had thought they were going to be. This one I'll get some use out of. It's in the shade Ariel, but I don't think I'll get a ton of use out of the shade Cinderella. It's kind of a dark uh, pinky rose shade, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter Cinderella. Here's a mini Tarte balm in the shade pink that came with the pineapple holiday collection. I actually really like this. I've been using it just to throw on uh, if my lips were kind of dry. It's just got a slight uh, pink tint to it so I'm going to go ahead and keep that guy. Here is an hourglass, uh, you know, one of those guys. This is in the shade the first time which I do really like these lipsticks but I think they're extremely overpriced. It's just a really pretty warm nude. I usually keep my glosses in different drawers, but I've been trying to use a few of them, so I've kept them up here so that I would use them, and I'm still not using them. My mom really likes Charlotte Tilbury lip glosses, so I'll probably go ahead and give this one to her. It's, a, again, another pretty nude, and that is in the shade uh, Seduction. Too Faced sent over the Pretty Rich lip glosses. Um, all but these two I gave to my mom, and she is loving these lip glosses. I am yet to use them more. Again, I'm not a big lipstick gloss person, but these are super pretty. So this one is All the Stars right here, which is just a really multi-dimensional kind of pinky glitter shade. And then the other one that I kept is 401k, which has got more pigment and it's a bit more purple right there. This is a Buxom Mini uh, Plump Line Lip Liner. And it is in the shade Hush Hush. I don't think I'll ever get any use out of that. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that guy. And then we've got the two Lime Crime lipsticks that uh, I just got. They recently relaunched these unicorn lipsticks. We've got Birthday Suit. They're very opaque. Um, they're, I won't call them drying, but they're a drier formula. And then Not Another Peach is the other one that I got, which I really like that one too. It's going to be a fun one for summer. This is a Lanco Mini Sheer in 202, and for the life of me, I don't know where I got this, but it's a really pretty nude, very sheer. Definitely need a lip liner, but it's a pretty, like, glossy nude shade. I still, I don't know where I got that. <laughs> Here's a mini Tom Ford lipstick, and this is in the shade uh, Le Mepris 03. This is a gorgeous coral color right here. Definitely keeping that guy. I love the shade. And then Beautylish sent over these Lena Chu lipsticks. They have six shades. The formula of these is really outstanding. The packaging is weighty with a magnetic clasp and the details on them is really stunning. I'm just not going to wear all the shades so I'm going to declutter a few of them. This one is the shade number eight in Anderson. Sorry if you guys see pet hair. I have pets all over the place. I really like this shade so I'm going to keep that one. The next one here is called number 12, Botticelli. This is a gorgeous, really warm coral nude. I like that one as well. 
And then we've got number 21, DeRoss. This was my other favorite. These were my, actually my favorite three out of the bunch, or at least the ones that I'm going to get the most wear out of. Um, then we've got number 36, Van Gogh. Ugh, I like this one too. This is a pretty one. This would be a pretty one for summer. Oh. Um, let me hang on to that real quick. <laughs> and then we got number 10, Da Vinci, which is a warm brown red. I know I'm not going to get any use out of that guy, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that one on. And then we've got number 9, Shakespeare, which is a red. And I have a ton of red lipsticks, and how many? How often do you guys see me wear red, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pass on those two. I'm going to keep that orange. Some Givenchy lipsticks. These are the Sculptin Rouge, uh, number one. These are those double-sided ones. They actually sent these to me. I just know for a fact that I'm never going to wear these, so I'm going to go ahead and pass them on. I've actually got quite a few nieces that uh, reap the benefits of my declutters. <laughs> Um, number two, Sculptin Violin is the other one, and that's another one of those dual shifted ones. So I'm going to pass both of those guys on. This is a Surratt Prismatic Lips in Pie Lettuce. This is the one I got on sale not too long ago. Another very similar one to the NARS like Orgasm Lip Balm. I think I'm actually going to put a few of those in my more like lip balm type drawer. Gonna keep, I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Uh, here is a Sephora Rouge melting lip clicks. These are really nice and I need to use this more. What, what is the shade on this? Number five, Peach Sorbet. Super, super glossy. It's just a really pretty orange one. I, I had meant to get a few more of these. I thought I had a pink one, but I may be mistaken. Keeping that guy. This is a Tom Ford lip color shine in number nine, Insidious. I got this guy in uh, New York. It's kind of a coral peach. Really love the shade of that guy. Then I got these two Lancome uh, and Camila Cabello lipsticks, which this collection sold out like hotcakes. Like, I wanted to get some more shades, and they're just sold out everywhere. So uh, the two shades I was able to get is Ipanema Sunrise, number 344, which is really a pretty one. And then the other one is in Cream 342, which is a shiny pink color. I love both of those shades. I think they're so pretty. Keeping both of those guys. Here's a Shiseido lipstick in Pinky Bloom. I think the packaging is just super fun on this guy. The color is really pretty as well. This has got a little age on it, but it, it still smells and uh, swatches the same. It's a little bit more of a sheer, uh, cool pink color. I just, again, I think the packaging is so cute. Um, then I've got these three Givenchy lipsticks right here. Um, I did buy them. <laughs> because I love the cases on them. Um, I think I did switch out the color in this one. I think this actually came with a different shade. One of these did actually, but I, I switched the color because I so I could use it with this pretty packaging. But this is the shade 205 Fuchsia Irresistible. This is just a really pretty uh, fuchsia pink color. Very similar to a Rihanna and MAC collab lipstick that came out some years ago. And then we've got 202 Rose Dressing which is just a really pretty rose color. The lipstick formula on these guys is really pretty. And then this one they actually sent to me not too long ago. This is Rouge Fetiche, which is a, a more orangey kind of a red. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that guy. I think it might be a good one for summer. Ooh. Here's another Lancome lipstick. This is in 264 Poit Etre. It came out with the holiday collection. This is darker, so like a darker mauve shade. I thought it was going to be a little bit more nude than it is. I think the color's still pretty though because it kind of goes on a little bit sheer. Um, I love the packaging on this. I'm going to go ahead and keep that guy. And then this Dior one in Diorific Matte 360 Elegant. I thought this was going to be lighter too, <laughs> but um, I can go ahead and make it work. I've always wanted one of these Dior lipsticks in this packaging, and now I have one. <laughs> then we've got three of the Too Faced Nude lipsticks. I love this formula. I think it wears great. They're really opaque. I like them a lot. This is uh, the shade Strip Search. And then we have got the shade Birthday Suit, which is more brown. Or warmer I guess and then the other shade is send nudes and I really like all 
three of these. I definitely have to wear a lip liner with Send Nudes. These are from the Rihanna Holiday Collection. I haven't gotten a lot of use out of these yet. I need to play with them a little bit more, but my lipstick situation has been too cluttered. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys anyway. This came in a set. This is the Cuffing Season, so chill. And what's your number? So here's what's your number. And I usually like to mix the what's your number shade with these other ones. There's a really shiny pink. That's Cuffing Season. And then we have got the shade So Chill, which is more of a brown right there. They're a little bit more of a drier consistency, but I need to play with them. Two more Rihanna lipsticks. I love these. I love both of them. I contemplated getting backups of each of them at one time, but I never did. This one is Super Moon. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Super Moon, which is a really, like, shiny coral color. Metallics are in. Have you guys noticed the shimmer shine in the metallics of lipsticks? And this. I love this. This is the shade Starlit. I love that color. Just a, oh, just a really pretty cool pink with some beautiful shimmers in there. I love both of these. This is a Linda Hallberg lipstick. This is in the shade Pink Opal. I actually like this on a lot better than when I originally swatched it. It's actually a really pretty nude on. It's not quite as dark as it looks. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And it's got a nice shine and hydration to it. Then we've got two lipsticks over here. Here is Nothing to Wear. This is MAC from the Holiday Collection. It's a really pretty nude too. This is not this year's Holiday Collection though, is it? No, that's like last year. Um, and then the lovely Babe Town. This is the one I had to have a backup of. And I think I pulled out this one because I was comparing how similar kind of the two were. But this one's got more mauve in it. And go ahead and keep those guys. I'm going to throw my MAC ones over there. And then Charlotte Tilbury sent me over all of her new like slim lipsticks like this. I did purchase two of them originally. So I had given away the ones that I had two of already. But you know I'm not. I know there's some of these that I'm just not going to wear. So we've got Walk of Shame. I wish that they, they just went on a little bit lighter. Um, for my like personal preference. Walk of Shame. They feel super nice on the lips and have a nice like vanilla scent. I really like this one. This is Happy Lips. I'm going to go ahead and keep Happy Lips. And then this one is Sexy Lips. I like that one as well. I think those are the two that I originally had purchased. Um, then we've got Wild Lips. More of a berry color. Some of these, some of these I feel like would be kind of nice for a, a wash of a deeper color without having to com commit to a really deep color, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. Pillow Talk. I love the Pillow Talk shade. That one's Pillow Talk. So we're going to keep Pillow Talk. And then this last one is Confidential Lips, which is pretty dark right there. So I'm going to pass on these three, Confidential Lips, Wild Lips, and Walk of Shame. And we've got these two Pat McGrath lipsticks that come in this super shiny packaging. I purchased the two lightest shades and they're both darker than I thought again. Um, but I, I, I can't bear to get rid of these. <laughs> um, I'm going to give them a shot though. Uh, this one is Flesh Fatale. Right here. Got some like glitters in it, and then the other shade is Nude Romantic. This one I, I can pull off, I think, relatively decently. My hand is starting to get stained. I'm gonna keep both of those guys. Here we've got a lip fetish lip balm. This is the clear one. I have got the gold one in my purse, I wear it constantly. I love, I love these lip balms from Pat McGrath. Here is the pink shade in Nude Astral. I think it should be called Pink Astral, but <laughs> it's just got some really pretty pink uh, shimmers in it. But these are beautiful lip balms. I, I love, I love that gold one. It's like, I think I got like half of it gone. I need to get another one. Then I've got two lipsticks right here from Too Faced. I have another one of these. I really like these lipsticks. This is the one that they originally launched packaging like this, but then they had like a lawsuit, I think, with Tatcha. <laughs> this one is the shade uh, Sure Thing. I kind of feel like it, it's got a similar kind of consistency to those other Too Faced ones from that nude collection. Um, peach Beach, and then these smell like peaches. 
that's going to be a fun summery one. And then Sunday Fun Day, which is a darker kind of a nude brown. These ones are just a little bit more matte than the others. Here are a couple of Besame um, lipsticks. I like the Besame lipsticks. This one here, I, I don't wear like them very often. This is a, just a mulvy pink shade. I, I got this from the Snow White collection. I, I, I can't part with this <laughs> because of this packaging. Um, this one here is exotic pink, which is more of a fuchsia type of a pink. Um, 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 I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to get rid of this guy, but should I put it in the maybe? I'll put it in the maybe pile. It's my first one in the maybe pile. This is the new Becca and Khloe Kardashian, the friends one, yours truly, which I just seen that Becca launched a slew of new lip liners and lipsticks. So that's exciting. I do like this. It's got a kind of a funky taste, but it goes away. So that's Becca's yours truly. Here's a colored rain lipstick. They sent me some of their lipsticks. A lot of them were just much too dark for what I like. This one is serene and based off some of the other colors that I have on here, I'm going to pass on that one from uh, colored rain. Here's another Besame one. This one I do get somewhere out of. This is a really pretty pink. This is called portrait pink and it's just a, just a really pretty soft kind of rosy pink color that formula. This is a Lancome lipstick and this is in the shade um, Paris Please 330. This is an old guy but I love the shade. It's just sort of like a really pretty purpley pink color. I might have got it with a spring collection a while ago. Um, we've got a Urban Decay Mini in Back Talk which is a comfort matte. I'm not crazy about the comfort matte formula. Shade's pretty but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that guy. Here's some Lancome lipsticks from a spring collection quite some time ago. I really like all of these shades. I don't think they're no lo any longer available. Um, they have some age, but they're still good. No change in smell or anything. This is the Rouge and Love 304B. And I will be keeping all of these guys because they're so pretty. 323M. That's like such a bright, like springy color. Then there is 333B, it's a little bit warmer. And then the last one from there is 124M, which is a pretty peach nude. Those are so stunning. Those are from Lancome. Here's one of those new Clinique lipsticks that just came out. This is an 01 Barely. I took the other one back, it just did not go on very well. This is kind of a browny mauve nude. I like the color, it's kind of unique. Go ahead and keep that guy. And then this is a MAC Cream Cup. We'll come across probably a few of these. This is one of my all-time fave lipsticks from MAC. Love it. Here's a Too Faced lipstick in the shade Miss Thing. This came out with their 20th anniversary collection. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning with Charlotte Tilbury's lip cheat in uh, uh, Iconic Nude. It's so pretty. So shiny. I contemplated a backup of this guy as well. Still thinking about it. <laughs> uh, here's a Bare, Bare Minerals. I think this is their Gen Nude collection. This is in the shade Tease. Um, I like the color a lot, but I feel like the formula sometimes goes on a little bit patchy, so I use it with a lip liner and I fill in my lips with the lip liner when I use it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. Here's an older one. This is a Laura Mercier in 60s Pink. This was a... Lisa Lisa D1 inspired purchase many a moon ago and it's a stunning, stunning nude shade. Keep that guy. And then I decluttered a whole bunch of lipsticks up maybe two or three months ago. Um, I decluttered a ton of these Estee Lauder lipsticks. I have the same problem with these as I do with original uh, Tom Ford lipsticks, which I've also decluttered a bunch of those. These are the ones that I kept that don't stink like they're ancient. <laughs> These ones are the ones that are still good. This is 320 Def Defiant Coral. The formulation of these lipsticks and the Tom Ford lipsticks are very, very similar. Which is probably why some of them have that same type of smell. This is Nude Reveal 110. This is such a pretty shade. And then the last one of those is 
330 Bad Angel. It's kind of another coral shade right there. Then I've got two of the Fenty Beauty uh, liquid lipsticks. I don't know a ton on lipstick, liquid lipstick formulas. I haven't really been a big fan, but uh, this particular formula is one of the best that I have ever tried. This, they wear really, really pretty. So this one's unbuttoned. You can kind of see the shade. And then here is, what is this shade called? Uncensored. And I will be keeping both of those. So again, those are some of the nicest liquid lipsticks that I've tried. Not that I've tried a ton. Here's a Sephora lipstick, and this is in num. It's a Lip Stories in number three. It's kind of similar to that shade. Oh, there's my phone. Um, you know, I'm gonna declutter this. I think the packaging is cute and stuff like that, but I never wear it. Here's Vanellope. She just hangs with the lipsticks. <laughs> uh, here's a dose of colors, and this is from the Katie and Desi collaboration. I really like this uh, color, so I'll be keeping that guy. And then what's over here? What's over here? Over here? What's over here? A Lorac lipstick. This is in uh, Model. It's the Alter Ego Hydrating Lip Stain. I, I, really, I really like the color of this, and I like the formula. I'm going to go ahead and keep that guy. I want to use this more. I actually pulled a Lorac was it a Lorac? No, that was a steel lipstick. Never mind. Uh, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in O2 Sun Blush. This is a pretty uh, summer bronzy lipstick. I believe this one came out, I think, I think last year. Maybe, maybe. Um, Gucci. Where's Gucci been lately? Has anybody seen where Gucci's been? Their makeup collection. This is 010 Magnolia Pink. Uh, I love the formula of these lipsticks, but... They have a, they have, the smell's pretty, but it tastes. That's my gripe with the lipsticks. This is my only Gucci lipstick. The packaging is elaborate. Um, the color's really pretty. I don't wear it very often because it has a kind of a perfumey smell to it. Um, I'm going to hang on to these guys too. These are the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liners. I've got the shade Ransom. Oh. I want to use these more. These look really pretty like to use uh, together. This kind of on the outer perimeter of the lip and this one on the inside. This is White Russian and they last pretty good because they're kind of a matte drier formula. And then here's a Tarte double ended. I'm not crazy about the gloss but I really like the lipstick side of this. This is the shade uh, Basic and it smells like vanilla. It's just a really pretty color. I mean, you guys, are you guys seeing a, a pattern? <laughs> These are like the only two ColourPop lippy sticks I think I have left. I got rid of all the rest of them. I've got Oh Snap and Peppermint, which are both mattes, interestingly enough. So there is Oh Snap. I like the formula. Uh, and here's Peppermint. Both of these, when I got them, were darker than what they were supposed to be at least from what I had seen online. Um, 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 um. I think I'll put those in the maybe pile. I decluttered my other Pirates of the Caribbean one. Actually, my mom took it. It was a nude too, but I kept this one. This is the one in Trident. Um, again, I don't really use the uh, lip gloss portion, but I like the lipstick portion. It's just a kind of a warm nude. And then this here, I love the packaging and I love the color. Um, when I wore this, um, the formula is a little different. I need to wear it with a good lip liner and then it goes on pretty good. And that is from the Tutti Fruity collection. And oh, what shade is this? Dream Sickle is that color right there. And then we have got a Tarte lipstick in Beach Babe. Um, that's kind of a pretty brown. I should pull that out and wear it with uh, Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury's. I got a cat here in there. Goodness. Uh, I'm going to keep that guy for now. Oh, here's two more um, Pure Color Envy lipsticks that I have. One's a High Luster in Sheer Sin 220. Still smells good. I like the High Luster formula. It's really nice. And then we've got Eccentric 260 right there. I'm actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Eccentric. This is from Paul and Joe and it's got horses on it. Um, I love this. It's cardboard. I have to be careful with it. I don't really wear the lipstick in there. It's really a sheer pink color. 
the shade is, where is this hair coming from again? Must be stuck on my hand. Uh, I don't know what shade it is inside the bullet, but these are interchangeable. You can buy different shades and switch out the packaging. I wish this was a hard plastic because it would keep better, but it's not very often you find makeup with horses on it. So that's a, that's a lovely one. Here is a mini Tom Ford in 03 Casablanca, which, 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 it's a mini, it's a Tom Ford. It's a color I may never wear very often, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. <laughs> Here's two more minis. I've got Indian Rose from Tom Ford. It's just a little bit lighter than Casablanca. And then, oh, what's this one? Spiced Honey, I really like this one. This is 57 Spiced Honey. I'm real hesitant to buy Tom Ford lipsticks again because they, they, they go bad, like the smell of them. The lipstick state is, is fine, but they smell rancid very shortly. So I don't, I try not to buy too many of those. These are the Maybelline uh, Shine lipsticks. These are fairly new. This is a beautiful lipstick formula. I've got 50 Baddest Beige and 75 Undressed Pink. I wish that they would expand the range because I don't think there's that many, but isn't that pretty? Such a pretty nude color. And then, this one is undressed pink right here. I've got two Laura Geller lipsticks here. I got Bleecker Street Peach. This is a nice formula and I, these are like my kind of colors and I don't know what in the world, but I never reach for them. I need to like set them out so that I reach for them. This one is called Soho Nude. I really like both of those colors and like I said, the formula is nice. Packaging is magnetic and pretty weighty. I'm gonna hang on to them for now. I'm gonna try to set them aside so that I use them. This is my one Burberry lipstick. Or I might have a longer one too somewhere, but this is my only like standard lipstick. This is Rose Pink number 33. And it is just a dusty, sheer, more sheer dusty rose pink color. Keeping that fellow. This is a relatively new lipstick from NYX from the Suede Collection. I like this as well. It's pretty matte. It's a pretty matte color for me, but that looks really stunning with, again, Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. Then we've got, this is from a Spring Collection, Guerlain Kiss Kiss 520 in number Coral. I mean, can we just with the bullet? This is really pretty. I like that color a lot. Hang on to that guy. Then we've got oh, my friend from... Paris, we did a swap and she sent me a bunch of the Rosie for autograph. I wish so bad I could order stuff from this collection and it's exclusive to one of those stores, <laughs> but they don't ship to the United States. Anyway, so that's where I got these and these are really nice lipsticks too. So this is Camisole Blush right there. And then the other shade I have is Rose Lace. They've got some pretty highlighters. I'm always like creeping on the website seeing how pretty the products are and I just am like, but I need them and I can't get them. <laughs> I wish they would become available around here. These are uh, Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham collection lipsticks. I've got Chilean Sunset. I think Estee Lauder sent this one to me. This would be a pretty, pretty one in the summertime. It's like a really orange red. And then I bought Brazilian Nude, which is again a gorgeous nude with Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Iconic Nude. <laughs> the, the corresponding lip liner that came with this collection is a nude too and it looks really pretty with that lipstick too. Then I've got this Sayate lipstick. I really like these. This is the Pretty Sticks in Vintage Blush. I have another one of these and it's kind of a coral color and I think I must have put it in a bag or something because I cannot, I can't find it but I really like um, these lipsticks from Sayate. It's got little lips on the outside. And then these are the Givenchy La Rouge Liquid Lipsticks. And they're not necessarily like a dry down liquid lipstick. They're a very unique formula. They had sent me a bunch of shades of these and I liked them so much. And I went on Sephora and there was a bunch more shades on there. So I think I bought two of them. Um, and then some of them were sent to me. So this is the shade Nude Cashmere. I think this was my favorite one. You like twist them up. Whoa. Overdid it. So this is nude cashmere, but the formula is like it's very very interesting formula, and they smell sweet too. I really liked these. And then this one, this is a good one. This is gonna be a beautiful one in the summertime. 
Orange Plumetis is this color. Right here. It's like an orange nude, or an orange coral red color. And then we've got Nude Tweed. I really like this one. You guessed it what lip liner I like this one with. <laughs> this one right here. That's Nude Tweed. Right there. It's a little bit dark, but it still looks pretty. Um, and then this is Nude to Fade Us. And this one's just got a little bit more rose in it. Right here. Uh, Milk Makeup sent me all of these uh, lip colors. I already decluttered the majority of them, but I kept these two, which I think I might declutter this one. It's a unique color, though. That's the thing of this one. It's a very unique color. But I think that I had two um, that I swatched earlier that were similar. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that guy. And then this other one, what's this one called? It just says cream on the bottom. And I like this color. I like the color. I like the color. I'm going to declutter this too. I never wear those. Um, then I've got two Il Maquillage. Um, they sent me some stuff. Um, some things were okay. Some things just didn't pop my socks off. So you didn't hear about them. But this is the color Rave. Super sheer lip color. It's one of those markers. Um, I, I really haven't used these enough to form a great opinion, but they're one of those, uh, it's like a glossy lipstick. So this color is, did I say they're both rave? Rave, rave. Uh, Playa is the pink one, and Maui is the orange one. I like that orange one. I'm going to hang on to these for now. This is the Cherry Blossom number 509. Right here. Oh, gosh. That is so pretty for spring. Hang on to that guy. And then this is a Surratt um, Bon Bon Lip Slick. And I got this when Surratt kind of first launched on Sephora. And that is that is like so right up my alley. And I don't know why I don't pull for this more. Probably because of this. <laughs> then these two beloveds right here. These are both Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks. Um, they recently came out with some more fun cases like this. I love this snowflake one. The colors of lipstick in each of these. Oh wait, this one is, no, this one I wear. This one, I wear this one. What's, what's the, how do I know the shade though? Like, what the heck? I don't know if it does any good if I swatch it and I can't find the shade name, but that's the color of that. These Rouge G lipsticks are really, really pretty. This one's a red, I know that. And I haven't even swatched it. It's an orange red. Oh, I swatched it now. Hanging on to both of these because they're just stunning. Now over here, I have got all of my MAC patent polish lip pencils, but I love these patent polish lip pencils. I'm going to be keeping all of them. A lot of them, I think they discontinued all of them, but there's some like, this is from old summer collection. Uh, I have a lot of these and I wear them a lot. These right here are all patent polish lip pencils. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these, oh! all on the floor because I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them all <laughs> and then in this box I've got kind of like lip crayons I'm going to try to be brutal with these um, these are ancient right here these chroma you guys remember chroma at Ulta with the Kardashians they've since obviously moved on since then <laughs> but they're still good they're good like the day that I bought them and they have the prettiest scent to them I'm gonna keep two of them I am going to keep two of them oh Oh, geez, why did I do that? I pushed too hard. I forgot this is a really soft product. But these are just lovely. I really enjoyed these. So this shade is um, Baby Doll. And then the other one I'm going to keep is Sea Coral. I like both of these a lot. I'm going to go ahead and pass on the shade Shocking Pink or declutter it. Because um, I just don't wear that color. It's kind of intense so I'll pass that guy on then we've got old school here uh, Urban Decay Super Saturated and Glinda these came with the the um, Wizard of Oz palettes that they came out with is that not a unique color still performs smells and swatches the same way as when it was brand new uh, then we've got 
Velvet Tease Lip Pencil from MAC and Tease Me. Um, the color is really pretty. I do not like the formula of this. I'm going to pass it on. Uh, this is the NARS Vel Satin Lip Pencil in Stourhead. These came out with a spring collection that was one of my favorites that NARS has ever done. I'm going to hang on to that guy. It's just a really pale pink. And then this one is Villa Lante. I like that one as well. And we've got Descanso. And I'm going to hang on to all three of those NARS ones. This max has got to hit the road though. And then I've got these two. Is this, are these both white? I think I decluttered the L'Oreal. Nope, here's one. Lancome. And this is in the shade 300. And I cannot remember um, what the exact name of this is. But I don't like this formula either. It's very similar to that MAC formula. I'm going to get rid of that guy. I have another one too. At least I thought I did unless I got rid of it. Here it is. This one is in the shade 310. Right here. The colors are really pretty but the formula goes on so patchy. I just cannot be bothered. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, here's some Bite Beauty lip pencils. I really like these. This is in the shade Kumquat. Which is a shade that I... I really don't wear those kind of pinks that much anymore, but this one is called Sweetie. It's a pretty coral. The thing about these is I've got a white one that I like to mix these shades with, and it comes out with a really pretty color. I wonder if I can find that white one. This is uh, Glossé right here. I'm going to declut... No, I like to mix this one with that white. That's right. Um, why do I have to... Oh, this is Lychee. Lychee. Right there. Actually, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna declutter declutter glossé. I'm gonna because this will compensate. And then I've got Tatin, T A T I N, right here. And Pastille. This is the white, I think. Nope, this is not the white. But that I've mixed with the white. Right there. I'm gonna get rid of Pastille. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Blanc. This is the white one. So I've mixed these. This is what the one that I've mixed with pastille. So this is the color it creates. It's like a it's a pretty like mauvey pink. I'm gonna hang on to those. Then this is velvet. The shade velvet. Ah right there. This is the glossier one. High pigment pencil and velvet right there. I'm gonna keep that guy. Um, Buxom Las Vegas. There was a shade. It's London. No. Where is the one? It's this one right here, and the name has worn off. Jeez, and I can't remember off the top of my head, but this particular pencil, I'd gone through several of them. This is Las Vegas. These kind of give your, your lips a little bit of a pouting feeling and they last really well. They're not super hydrating though. I think it's Valencia. Vienna. This is Vienna. I love this. I love this. I love this color. This is probably... I've probably been through two full-size ones of these and I have this one. And something tells me that every time I go in the store I don't see this shade very often. The shade Vienna, but it's beautiful. So I hope that they did, didn't discontinue it. Here's another Chroma right here. Mm, that's kind of pasty pasty. I'm going to go ahead and uh, declutter that one. That's in the shade Modern Mauve. That, that is not mauve at all. And then I've got two, of the, two more of these and these are both London. Because this is the other shade that I really liked from the Buxom. I tell you what they're called, big and healthy lipsticks. Those are London. I really like those. Uh, Tarte Smitten Lip Surgeon's Lip Shine. This is nice. This is nice, but I never ever wear it. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on. Here's another Buxom, and this is in Amsterdam. I like that. That guy. And then another Urban Decay Super Saturated, and this one is in Love Child. Ooh, they discontinued these too, I believe. 
I just loved how glossy they are. Still smells fine. Looks fine. She good. She good. Um, here's another velvet. I don't know why I have two velvets right here. Probably because I really liked the shade at the time. This used to be my jam, that color. And then Cy uh, Syra is this color. It's kind of a corally one. I'll go out, hang on to those guys. And this was a uh, limited edition from a um, summer collection quite a while ago from Elizabeth Arden. It's called Coral Reef 01. And the gloss on this is just really pretty. And the shade's pretty. So I'm going to hang on to that too because I really like that. Okay, I put the pencils back in here. Got a little room for some more pencil action, so that's good. Now we're going to tackle the base of the stuff. All this over here, wait, about like here, over this way is all MAC, except for these two uh, Kat Von D lipsticks, which I like both of these ones. This is Muñeca right here, and then the other one is Divine from Kat Von D. I like both of those. I'll be keeping them. If I go for a mat, it's more like a satin mat, but they're a more comfortable mat for me anyways. Uh, this is the Pretty Punk Lipstick in Glamour of Pink. It's sheer, but it's really pretty. With a lip liner for sure. I'm going to keep that guy. Uh, these are the Nicki Minaj lipsticks. You guys hear me talk about these like a crazy person. I love both of these. Uh, Nicki's Nude. <laughs> wear that guy a ton. I love it. Um, and then the pink print right here, which I also really love. These are some of my faves. Here's another Nikki's Nude. I love these. Then we've got a Patrick Star Sweet Mama Star lipstick. Now that I'm like swatching all of these lipsticks, you guys, everything is starting to look the same. Here's another Patrick Star. This one is She Better Work. I'm just going to keep swatching them, and then when I declutter one, I'll say I'm decluttering that one. Here's Max Shy Girl. I love... Mac makes just... Mac just does a good job on lipstick. This is Only You Cream Sheen from Ellie Goulding Collection. This is I'm Glistening. The color on this is extremely unique, so I keep it. I don't really have anything else in my collection that looks like that. And then this one is Holiday Crush. I think this was last year's um, holiday collection. Not for sure. Love the packaging on all of these. And these ones here were the Chris Chang collection. Look at how pretty those are. So this one is called Plum Princess. It's a matte. Here's another very unique color. It's like a, almost a blue based purple. And then this one too, Cloud Gate, which is a luster. So it's a little bit more sheer, but it's got a blue hint to it. Super unique colors there. Then we've got uh, a novel romance. <laughs> I'm not doing very good on decluttering any MAC lipsticks. Uh, Morning Rose. Uh, quite cute. This was a hugely popular, like people were after quite cute, and then I think they re-came back with it, and it was this whole thing. I keep it for the uniqueness. Do I ever wear it? No. I think it would be a good one for mixing, however. Candy Yum Yum. Everybody know about that candy yum yum. That is so bright. Um, All I Want, which is a frost. This was from the Mar uh, Mariah Carey collection. Right. Can you see it right there? I did a MAC declutter video. I don't know if it was a year, maybe two years. I'm not sure. This is from Padma Lakshmi Collection. This is Sunset Rose right here. Um, so I may not declutter a bunch of MAC because I did declutter from that one. Snob. I used to wear the living out of Snob. That was my jam. I don't wear it quite as much now. This one is Pure Vanity. I love the shade. Kingdom of Sweets. Really milky white pink right there with a sheen to it. I really, I used to live for these shades and they used to be so hard to find. They're a little bit more plentiful nowadays. Here is Saucy Little Darling. This is beautiful. Uh, Gian Battista Valli Matte in Margarita. Do you guys like my swatching? Oh, <laughs> my swatching spots. Uh, Mac Hue.
MAC, these are all MAC, Coral Bliss, I love this color, it's so pretty, Cross Wires, this is Who Wants Candy, from, this is the Raver Girl collection, this is a really unique shade, I think these are still available too, it's got like a purple duochrome shift to it, Really pretty. Pret a Pretty. This is one of these style of lipsticks right here. I love these lipsticks. This color is kind of cray cray. Ooh. I'm tempted to declutter that, but I love the lipstick formula. Um, Blossom Friend. Oh my gosh, that is crazy too. I should declutter. You know what? I'm going to declutter this one. This Pret a Pretty color. That one right there. I don't. Uh, I don't think I'll be wearing that ever. <laughs> uh, this is a huggable lip color. These were awesome. The huggables. This is in the shade uh, Touche. Right there. A regular lipstick. This is Max Angel. Classic. And then we've got um, At Leisure, which is a frost. Another is Gian Battista Volley. This is a matte in the shade Top. Tots, T-A-T-S. These are the newer formula mattes too, so they're not those super drying ones. This is the shade Bianca B, which mixed together. These two colors mixed together. Watch, I bet that creates a good color. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we've got Sweet and Sour. Love this shade. And this is Spotlight Me, which is the Amplified Cream. I really like this color too. Kind of similar to the Nikki's Nude shade. Then we have got Snapdragon. Very unique, shiny purple color. And Sweet Experience. Oh gosh, I need to leave this out. That color is stunning. Raspberry Swirl. This thing was the rage too back in the day. Love that color. It's beautiful. Uh, loves a gamble. This one is called M, mm, like just a bunch of M's. Oh god, I gotta. I need to push too darn hard on these lipsticks. Um, this one is called Shy Girl from a summer collection, but I believe this is part of the permanent collection. It's there. We've got Kinda Sexy. Real Sexy. This is so pretty. There's so many of these colors, like, I haven't reached for them in so long, just because they're not, like, conveniently right there for me. <laughs> Jazzed. This is beautiful, too. And there's so many colors in here that are so pretty. Lavender Whip. Who remembers Lavender Whip? Remember it came out with Hello Kitty years ago. This one, and then they, this is a re-promote one. Um, but here's another uh, snob. Razzle Dazzler. Lerve. Rose Lily. This is so pretty too. I just want to put on all these lipsticks like right now. So many pretty shades that I just need to use. Fleur de Coral. Pure Decoration. Watch Me Simmer. Oh gosh, this is pretty. Sunny Soul. A uh, Summer Shower. Okay, now this guy here is old. I got this at a CCO outside of Las Vegas like eight years ago. Is this the one? No, take that back. This is not the one. We'll get to those ones. This is not the one, but it's a fun one. Pure Heroin. This was Lord's lipstick, I believe. She she promoted this one, I think. Courting Seduction. And then here's another Ellie Golding. This one is Without Your Love. I liked both of these lipsticks. They're super pretty. And ugh, another snob. I need to see that again. Uh, Notice Me. Oh gosh, that's pretty. Um, Pink Friday, which was a, a Nicki Minaj collab. Saint Germain. This was another one that I used to wear like a crazy person back in the day. 
I still think it's the coolest. Cool pink. Viva Glam Nikki. Love this. I only had one and I wished I had a backup. Um, and so I didn't wear it that much. And I think I'm going to leave it out and wear it because yellow, you know. Uh, another St. Germain. Uh, Vegas Volt. I love. This is like the third tube of this. This is one of the most worn MAC lipsticks for me. Like maybe six years ago was Vegas Volt. Uh, Beauty. It's like a purpley pink killer. Very unique shade there. No faux pas. And this came out with, I think it was a holiday collection some time ago. Here's Give In, is that color? Oh, there's so many pretty ones. Viva Glam Nikki 2. Not a super wearable one, but it's a pretty unique light purple. MMLE was this color. It's like a, it's a unique type of a milky pink shade. Well loved. I like it like that. Oh, this melted. This melted. I used to wear it a lot too. I think I have another one. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I didn't notice what happened to that. Oh, I hope I have another one of those. Uh, otherwise, I, I, I hope I have another one. <laughs> uh, this is bubblegum. I was having a moment of sadness just now. Um, Goddess of the Sea. This is from uh, Summer Mac Summer Collection. Um, Pink Pearl Pop. Oh, this is pretty. Peach Blossom. And then Marilyn Monroe's Charmed, I'm sure. I can't get rid of any of my Marilyn lipsticks. I, like, again, rarely wear red, but no can do on, no can do of those. We've got Budding Love. Gosh, I used to wear the heck out of those shades back in the day. Pervet. This one is Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. Mystical. This was from uh, the holiday, or not a holiday, a summer collection. Enchanted one. Siren song. I kind of feel like parting with some of those, but I love the packaging. Gray Friday. <laughs> Toying around. That's a pretty color. Mac and Kelly Osborne. This one is called um, Kelly Yum Yum. I can't wait to, as soon as I'm done doing this, wiping all of this stuff off and redoing it. Uh, Riri Wu from the Rihanna. Gosh, this collection. Did it not go haywire or what? This isn't even swatched. And I'm not going to swatch it. I think I have it in the black packaging too somewhere, but... Pure Zen. This, oh, this is so pretty. This is from the Marilyn Monroe collection years ago. It was so hard to get uh, my hands on the Marilyn and the Rihanna stuff. Um, this one is Betty Bright from the Mac and the Archies. That's a pretty color. Gosh darn, that's pretty. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set that out because I want to wear that. Um, Fashion Muse. Hello Kitty. Or was this the one that went crazy popular? Jeez, I can't remember. Such a pretty color though. Um, Coral Bliss. It's a good one too. Okay, I'm gonna finish off this box of MAC right here. I wasn't recording, but I swatched the Huggable in Soft Talkin', which I really like the Huggables and I think they might have discontinued them. But I'm gonna finish this box and I'm going to probably do part two on the rest of these because uh, batteries are dying and memory cards are filling up and my back is killing me. <laughs> so this is a Luster and Girl Next Door from the Archie's Girls collection. A lot of there. Here's another Archie's. This one is called Daddy's Little Girl. Gosh, Mac. They really were doing some fun collections back in the day. This is the shade uh, Double Spin. This was from a winter collection. Like it's. Very, very unique shade. 
it's like a nudish gray color that one this one here this is the warrior something or another it's a frost it's called purple right I got this when I was in Chicago how cool is the packaging still good still smells like vanilla isn't that something that's crazy I can't wait to clean this all out it's gonna be so nice this one is lavender jade this oh, this is do you guys remember this collection well I can't remember it off the top of my head but this is an old one um, gladiola that little eyeglasses is a sticker on there but okay lipstick is good as new crazy this is the old matte formula I wore it a few times but it dried my lips out like no other here's another Kelly Osborne this is dodgy girl this is a pretty one too and that is that's a matte that's the old school matte too so that's kind of a drying one um, party parrot oh, I love this color pretty Hey Sailor, this is Sail La Vie. Then we've got, this one is Try Again. This is the Aaliyah collab. I had to have some things from that collection. I love Aaliyah. And that's a unique one. I don't have any other color that looks like that in my whole collection. You'll be watching this and be like, ah, oh, that other color looks just like that. <laughs> Here's um, Pet Me Please. Frost, old summer collection. This is exclusive event. This is a unique collection. It's from old holiday collection. Oh, oh, borderline. A little more gray in that one than the Olea one. Here's another um, Marilyn Monroe. This is in Love Goddess. They should, they should do another Marilyn collab with like her on it like that. Oh. So good. Here's the Toledo lipstick. This is in the shade Oxblood. It's a warm nude. This is one of my all-time favorite collections from MAC. This was the um, London. Why did it just it just went in like one just came in my mind and went out my mind. This is blooming lovely. I love this collection from MAC. Look at that. This lipstick's old. It's good as the good as the day I bought it. Blooming, no, Liberty of London. <laughs> That's the name of this collection. I love this collection. Here's a Riri Mac. This one is called Pleasure Bomb. This is a pretty uh, color, too. This is the Mac Nico Panda, and this is in the shade uh, Pink Pink Off. Packaging is crazy. Just a pretty pink color. And then we have got uh, Tumble Dry. That's a very interesting color. It's like a yellow orange. Uh, Cinderella Royal Ball. There. And then the last MAC lipstick from that collection is MAC Viva Glam Gaga. I have gone through several of these and I think I still have one in my backup drawer. This used to be my favorite lipstick to wear. I love this lipstick and it's a luster. It's so pretty super duper so that is all of the lipsticks in that section of mac there's a few more mac right here but um i'm gonna go ahead recompose myself and hopefully you guys will be back here to meet me with part number two which i'm gonna try to post relatively soon after this first one hope you guys enjoyed and found that helpful thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and i'll see you guys later bye